Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In this video I'll show you one of the uh, partial uh, commands that will help us in uh, some automation work, some scripting works, uh, which is the read host. What do you do when you don't have it? When you want to uh, provide a, an input dynamically when running a script which means we don't when you don't have a static where uh, static uh, answers or static value when you when you want to um, test check uh, s with certain values that's where I, I would think this uh, read host would be very uh, valuable so read host uh, it reads the line of an, an input in the console right when you put when you you put the your answer while your script is running and then the script will take it as an input later on and then you can process it okay so here i have my again my partial uh, terminal i have opened it in uh, my azure uh, so if i want let's say i'm going to pretend that i am writing some scripting that i will uh, execute it later while doing that script should stop in the middle and ask me something what is it maybe it's password which you don't want to save them you don't want to keep your password all the time or a name which you want to keep asking uh, every time you run your scripts you might get you want you might want to get uh, different names so which means you don't want to you don't know what name you you will be using or what name is going to come so in that case that's what i see the importance of this uh, uh, powerful command so the powerful command again is uh, right read host say if I read host if i say how old are you so it's going to say it's going to ask me see it's asking me how old are you so i'm going to say 23 and then it says 23 this is the in the mm, basic Mm, way but like I said we want to test okay we want to test uh, we want to I mean we want to accept the, the the inputs in post processing okay so how do you do that you want to save it into a, a variable first uh, the input you give you have to as, uh, assign it to a variable let's say it's age right age equals to read host host what is it? What's your age? So I'm gonna give 23. So it doesn't display the, the number now. What it means is the value is saved into the variable age. Later on, I can say write host, write host, your age is H. okay so you can see you imagine writing a script a script that has the first uh, line is this one and then the second line is this one okay so still you can do that you can you can do uh, multiple things say the password right if the password you can you can do as the password as well you can accept the password and then you can use it later during in the next uh, in the next lines of your uh, script okay uh, for example let's say read uh, host uh, enter the password okay but I don't want you to I don't want to. I don't want anybody to see it because I, I, it might ask me in front of many people, right? So what do I say is there is uh, option as well you can do. You ask secure string. So if I say this, what it's going to do is watch. I'll say I'm typing admin for example see it's a secure 
so I don't I don't see what's happening nobody can read it except me because I'm the one who writing it but I can mask the uh, the input as well but I still can use it for my post uh, process when I'm in the when I come to the point where I I need the password to log into to the stuff right but when I'm uh, given us an the password as an input I don't want to uh, in the screen I don't want uh, anybody who can see the screen be able to see it. I hope this was informative and helpful to you if you have any comments or questions please leave me in the comment section if you find this information helpful consider sharing it with your friends and families and for more videos don't forget to subscribe for now bye bye